in order to build massive big businesses and in order to build massive business careers, do you need to do an MBA in today's day and age? Well, I'm the wrong guy or maybe the right guy to ask that, <laughs> uh, depending on who wants to ask that question. So if you ask me personally, it's a, a, it's a personal choice. My straight answer is no. And do I have any regrets from it? No. Uh, but it's a personal choice. It's about what you think you lacked at the time in which you thought you wanted to lack it. I think the good part today is that people are looking at that, it, that of an MBA or doing something at least three to four years after they've started working hmm. on their own or in a job. That's good because it gives you a very clear perspective of what you're lacking. Right. But I would say if you're doing something like an MBA, there's a 21st century MBA now. I think the context of an MBA and doing it for a purpose of a degree has gone way long back. Right. And you need to be very clear why you're doing it. Right. You're so definitely not doing it for a marriage certificate. <laughs> and you're definitely not doing it only to get yourself a good job. Mm. So why are you doing it? Mm. So, so you end up working with a lot of people who are spread across different industries. My question to you is, what do you see MBAs in the modern day have that non-MBAs don't? Sometimes I'd say structure. Okay. I, I think it's 50, and I keep telling a lot of people here that right now for me, I'm doing more unlearning than I'm doing learning. And that's the best part of learning. Okay. And I know it sounds, and I want to dumb it down. Is that not, because of social media? No, it's just about how the world thinks, the consumer trends that are happening, what's the younger generation thinking, what everyone is thinking, plus what you're being taught versus what is the ground reality? How do you implement that? How do you deal with change, constant change, more often change all the time? So I think, yeah, uh, even if you're doing an MBA, 50% after that, you have to unlearn. Right. And 50% you can learn. Do they have any other advantages other than like structure? No, I think it gives you some fundamentals. That's why I said it's very something that very personal for people as to what they feel is lacking within themselves. Okay. Okay, I think maybe when I started off with that, my commercial acumen from I don't know where came about and I could understand the basics of commerce and commercial and running a business. Um, and I could, I, could, I could feel logic and sensibility coming into what I wanted to do. And I think been, I've been very curious of my whole life. Yeah. So this constant curiosity gets you to learn a lot more right. uh, and keep your eyes and ears open. Because you're a lifelong learner, other than upgrade, what are your learning mechanisms? Like, do you talk to young people like myself? I'm constantly interacting with people. So I think almost at least three to four times a, a month, I'm interacting uh, with various people or giving a talk. And that's not, it's, it's a selfish reason for me because mm. I'm giving a talk, somebody's requested for it, but that 300, 400 people question and answer interactive session gives me a, a really good pulse. Right. I think uh, in the various fields that I'm doing here from the social um, philanthropy work to right. upgrad, to storytelling with movies in RSVP and to my sports endeavors. Actually, for a recluse, I'm getting so much of information and yeah. so much of touch points and so much of contact points that it's a constant learning process.